Welcome to this week's video and we're checking out some of the awesome things that I managed to pick up the last time that I went to the Royal Mint. Some things I actually got from the Royal Mint itself, other things I got from Cointubers, and then one thing I managed to actually get from somebody who views the videos. So on the Cointuber side of things, at the Royal Mint was Bungle and Lady M, Christopher Collects, Andy from Coin Cupboard, Caledonian Coins, My Family Collects and Total Coins. There were other coin tubers there, but just like me, they don't show their face on camera, so we probably walked past each other and just didn't know who each other were. But I'm hoping to meet them again at some point in the future. The biggest surprise of the day, though, was the fact that Andy from Coin Cupboard was there, because originally he wasn't going to be there because of the fact they were so close after his honeymoon. Which leads me on to my first item. He had these to give each of us which are some sort of wedding favor. So I think they're really cool. Josephine and Andrew, 2019, six pence. And I'm pretty sure that this is brilliant and circulated. Let's see if I can just get that in the light there. I think it's really cool. It's in its own little capsule. It's not actually a coin, but still, I think that that is an awesome little wedding favor. So that was the first thing that I managed to pick up. So I can put that to one side for now. And now we'll get into the next thing, which is actually the coin that I struck myself whilst visiting the Royal Mint. So this is the 50 years of the 50 pence coin. And of course, it is brilliant and circulated. So if I just open it up, first of all, and show off all the information, I'll just do the usual thing where I leave everything long enough so that you can pause it and read it at your own pace. And on the back you've got the coin specs. So the alloy is cupro nickel, the weight is 8 grams, diameter 27.30 millimeters. The quality is brilliant and circulated, obvious designer Jody Clark and reverse designer Christopher Ironside. So let's just check out this coin. Even though it looks a bit scratchy, I can assure you that that is actually the plastic, not on the coin itself. And if I just open it up again, let's see how well I can get this to shine in the light. So yeah, that is absolutely cool. And the next strike your own is actually the Wallet and Gromit, which we're all going to be going down to the mint to strike again. So there we go, that is the latest Strike Your Own that I managed to get. There'll be links in the description below to all of the previous ones that I've actually managed to strike myself. So please feel free to go and check those out if you get a minute. So that's the second thing that I managed to pick up. So the next item that I want to show off is this, which is another brilliant and circulated coin. But it comes in the Royal Mint sort of Strike Your Own packaging but it's from Christopher Collects. There we go, so I know you're all eager to find out what number I managed to get. So it's number 55 of 1000. And of course we get his autograph on the bottom. And the token specs are, alloy is nickel plated brass. The weight 7.15 grams. Diameter is 27 millimeters. And the designer is Debs. So let's just open this up. And as usual, I'm just gonna scan along and anybody that hasn't seen one of these tokens before can just pause it and read all the information that you get at your own pace. Let's just check out this coin. So 2019, Christopher Collects, with the YouTube play button there. So that's really cool. Can't wait to see what he's got in store for his 2020 token. And then this is the obvious of the coin, Holy Toledo. And then you've got Christopher there with his classic logo. Let's see if I can just get that bit better in the light. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. So yeah, thank you very much for that, Christopher. It means a lot. So that is item number three. So let's now get on to the last item. So before we get on to this last item, there are some people that I just want to shout out that I met at the Royal Mint that weekend. Actually, King Oreo, I met you on the Friday, first of all. Very funny guy. Uh, Womble Alley. Thank you so much. I had a lovely chat with you and yet yeah, brilliant, lovely guy. Laughter, met you a couple of times at the Mint now and it's always a pleasure. And then Gordon, it was lovely to meet you too. 
and Dan Temple, which brings me on to this item. And the funny thing is, is that I actually received this on the Friday night at a pub in Cardiff. I still haven't opened it yet, so I'm really excited to get into that. And it was given to me by Dan Temple. This is the letter that has arrived later in my P.O. box from Dan, which actually talks a little bit about what's inside here. And any of you that are familiar with Dan Temple will know that he's the person that has made coins for other coin tubers and even made an amazing picture for Christopher Collect of a pagoda, a Q pagoda. Absolutely stunning. And if you'll all join me in the comment section below in just egging Dan on to start his own YouTube channel, I want to see him doing something like painting tutorials or something because he's so talented and also such a great guy. So this is the letter that came with it. Um, I'm just going to skim through it, but he talks about how great a weekend him and his son had. Um, he talks about the fact that his son overheard myself and him talking about the Flopsy Bunny versus Peter Rabbit low mintage debate. And on the back of that, his son bought the Bunk Flopsy, which is great, Team Flopsy, good job. And if you're all wondering why there's a picture of Ian Rush there, in a Leeds United shirt, it's because whilst over a pint we were talking football. Now I'm a Liverpool fan and the reason that I support Liverpool is because of Ian Rush. And he started talking about Ian Rush playing for Leeds United and I was just like, I didn't know what he was talking about. And yeah, Ian Rush did play for Leeds United for one, one season I believe, but I, I just think that it's one of those things that you just mentally block out when something so bad happens. I mean, I bet if they even asked Ian Rush about his time at Leeds United, he's forgotten. But yeah, that was really funny. Thanks, Dan. Um, and he says some really beautiful things, but then he gets on to what's in this package. And as a token of our appreciation, please find included a rare coin that I have handmade from brass and aluminium using a hydraulic press and several other tools. Uh, there are not many of these in circulation. So he says the coin cupboard, Christopher collects, Caledonian coins, UK coin hunt and Bungle collects all have one. So I just want to say before I get into this already, thank you so much, Dan. I know what's in there, you told me, but I just feel like this is now me entering a really cool coin club. So without further ado, I'm just going to open this up. Brilliant. <laughs> I love it. So this is the back of a receipt from the actual hotel or the pub next to the hotel where I met Dan. So obviously he didn't have the letter on him at the time and wanted to put something inside. So thank you, Dan. Um, let's now get into this. Okay, so it's well packaged, and um, before I actually go any further, I just want to say that uh, Dan does ask me to give a shout out. So I just want to say a massive shout out to Dan again, and this is for his kids. So Tom, Ben, and Macy, hello. And yeah, what a great old man you've got there. So now let's get further into this. I love that rare coin and he's drawn a little Welsh dragon on there how cool is that so let me see if I can just get that in the light so on this side we've got thanks Dan Temple 12th of the 10th 19 and a little smiley face oh wow That is amazing. Dan, thank you so much. I never actually realized how big these are. That's really cool. Let me just put it into comparison and put it next to Andy's wedding favor. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Coins rule everything, absolute coins. Yeah, no, I'm so chuffed to bits with that. Look how thick it is as well. Dan, you could probably go into business selling 
these, like just something, little trinkets for people to collect. Now, I am made up with that, and like I said, I now feel like I've actually made it. I've, I've joined that elite coin club with the stamp of approval, or the strike of approval from Dan Temple. Thank you so much. Can you all please just leave a comment below just thanking Dan for this, and again, egg him on to start his own YouTube channel. So yeah, let me know what you think of all the stuff that I managed to get. So let's just go through it all again. I got Andy's Wedding Favor, which is cool. The Strike Your Own Coin and this token from Christopher Collects. And of course, this. This amazing, amazing gesture from Dan Temple. Dan, I'm going to get a letter back to you as soon as I can. So let me know in the comment section below, like I said, what you think of all this stuff. And please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe for future content on coins. Thanks for watching.